Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing well today. We got Finnegan with us. You can kind of see his rump. He's barely on camera. And then of course, Lenny makes his grand entrance. So um, clearly these two are ready for some action. It's actually been a couple days for me since I've done some yoga. How crazy is that? I bet you guys thought I did it like every second of every day of every life. I get one life. But I do yoga a lot, just not the last couple days because we have been working really hard on a lot of our house stuff, uh, landscaping, as you guys are aware, we've had the flood in our basement, so we had a forced renovation and we just thought, hey, this is a great time to just redo the painting and all the stuff that we were too lazy to do before this. Um, so the flooring will be here tomorrow. I don't know what Finn is doing, you guys, I'm sorry, he's distracting. <laughs> The flooring will be here officially tomorrow. We got this beautiful kind of wood toned rubber. So it'll have this just nice warmth to it. And then we just get to, you know, actually cut the rubber and put it all in like a giant puzzle on the floor. You two. Seriously, you guys, this is what I live with. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Before we get into this, I just want to share something that is helpful for me that I think could be helpful for you guys if you wanted to implement it. Um, and that's my morning routine. Yeah, I know. Morning routine. Hi, buddy. What? <laughs> so with my morning routine, it starts at 5 a.m. Get out of here. Come on, lay down. Lay down. Or 5.20 at the latest, depending on how I'm, how I'm feeling. Um, but no matter what, I always, I am out of bed at 520. If I know it is 520 on my watch, aka my alarm, I am getting up. And even if I feel a little groggy, I just instantly tell myself, like, I feel fantastic. Because the words you say in your head is the energy that you're going to start to feel throughout your body. So if you are like, oh, I feel like crap, I'm so tired, what's that doing to your body, right? Um, so... I get up at 5 a.m., 5.20 at the latest, and then I go and make um, coffee, and I make a special bulletproof coffee, so I put coconut oil in mine because it gives me some concentrated fats early in the morning that are going to go help support my brain activity, and um, yeah, so then I add a little bit of cinnamon, and then while that's making, I'm drinking a ton of water, and you guys know I always have my water on me. I try to drink one of these before I even have my coffee in the morning. And then right away, I go into my journal and I will write out 10 things that I'm grateful for. And you guys know I put that into our yoga because we are neurologically rewiring our brain. So it is so extremely important for you to get that in at any point. So if you're starting your day, now I do 10, you could do two or five, whatever suits you. Um, but when you're starting the day with gratitude, you instantly are wiring your brain to be successful because you're already noticing these amazing things and experiences and moments in your life. So why would you not want to start your day? And then I do um, three to five goals, but I write them in present tense as if they have already happened. So an example, Obviously, we're at the gym or you're here on yoga, whether it is for physical or for mental. One of my goals always, because we always have, you know, these dream ideas of what a body should look like. And most of the time, you set a number. And when you don't meet that number, what does it do? It makes you kind of feel bad, right? Um, or like you're not good enough or you didn't work hard enough. Well, that's so wrong because you're showing up every single day. You're doing your job and you're doing a fantastic job at it. So let's acknowledge it in a different way. So my goal for my body, and you guys know I have a weird medical condition, if not, surprise. So for my body, for that goal, I write, I am so grateful that I am at my ideal body weight, that my body is strong, is healthy, it heals quickly, and I feel amazing. Right? That's a goal, you guys. <laughs> that is a goal. And the more I repeat that and the more I work towards it, guess what, you guys? I'm down six pounds through quarantine. Didn't have a number in mind, but sure enough, I'm showing up, I'm doing the work, and every single day I feel inspired as if it's already happened because I'm setting up with gratitude and then these goals in present tense. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys because I think it is so important 
how you start your day. If you just get up and you are rushing through your morning to get your shower, to eat your food, to jump in your car, you're in this like anxious mode. You're already in your flight or fight stage. You're overstressing your parasympathetic, aka your nervous system, right? So if we start it a little earlier, meaning go to bed earlier, you have the choice. Go to bed earlier, get up earlier, do whatever morning routine looks like for you, but start with gratitude. Start with goals in present tense. And I promise you, <laughs> I promise you, you guys, you will see a huge difference in your life. So with that, there's your morning motivation. So we are going to jump into some yoga now because I'm sure you're like, stop talking Leslie. Got it. Let's do the thing. So go ahead and start your watches. Come on down to your mat. Take a quick drink. I need to because I just ran my mouth for too long. And get your eyes ready for some yoga. So get in a nice comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall, legs crossed, hands in your lap, and go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Inhale in through the nose. And exhale, let it go. In and out. We'll do two more breaths here. Big, deep inhale. Exhale. One more. In and out. Great job. Go ahead and open your eyes and take a big inhale. Lift your arms all the way up. Big stretch. Point your thumbs to the wall behind you and slightly angle them to the side walls. Look up. Exhale. Float your hands down. Pet your animal if they're there. Inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, float them down, tuck your chin into your chest this time. Really feel that length through the back of your neck. Inhale, look up, stretch those arms. And exhale, I want you to only release that right arm down to the mat. Sorry, I got a hair on my nose. Right arm down, really extend that left arm. You can have a slight bend in your elbow or in time work your way to bring your forearm all the way down. But are you turning your chest to the floor? Spiral it towards the ceiling, really open. And as you breathe, feel the left side of your body expand. If you have any issues in your shoulder, it's uncomfortable, drop your hand down to your waist. Really loop your shoulder blade back and down your spine as you continue to turn your chest towards the sky. Make sure you're anchoring through <laughs> that left leg here. Focus on that breath, big inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. In and out. Inhale. All the way back up. Both arms up and overhead. Big stretch. Look up. Exhale. Release that left arm. Again, you can plant that palm or bring the forearm all the way down to the mat. Find what's comfortable for you. Always listen to your body. Turn your chest towards the ceiling. Rotate that top thumb slightly towards the back wall here. Really stretch, feel that lengthening through the right side of your body. Inhale, exhale. Anchor down through that right leg. If you notice you're feeling tension, let it go. One more breath here, in and out. Inhale, all the way back up, both arms up and overhead, big stretch. Exhale, release them down, chin to chest. Inhale, all the way up. Fingers come together, interlace, turn your palms towards the ceiling. Again, big stretch here. Exhale, release your hands to the base of your skull. Take a breath in and out. Really open your elbows as wide as the room here. Sit up tall, pull your belly button in. And exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, start to round through your spine, pulling your back towards the wall behind you. Let your elbows fall forward. Just let gravity do the work here. Do not pull on your head. Allow your shoulders to release down your spine. Feel your tailbone curling towards the ceiling. And with your next inhale, from your tailbone all the way up, I want you to start to roll up, straightening through your spine. Use your breath as you inhale. Begin to open your elbows nice and wide. Look up. And exhale, slow and controlled. Begin to round. 
chin to chest, tailbone up, gravity letting, doing the work of the stretch here. Inhale, rolling up, opening those arms, big stretch here, release your hands left and right. You can spin through your wrist, move your head left and right. Start to pull your body one way. Imagine someone's pulling your arm and then the opposite arm, like you're playing in tug of war with two people that aren't actually there. <laughs> right, so just really start to feel this movement through your spine. And then as we inhale, bring both arms forward. Exhale, draw that right arm back behind you. Look over your right shoulder. Focus on your breath. Belly button in, sit up tall. Exhale, bring it forward, take a big inhale. Exhale, left arm back. Look over your left shoulder this time. Focus on that breath, sitting up nice and tall. And exhale, bring it forward. Great job. We're gonna finally transition onto all fours. So bring your knees right underneath of your hips your wrists right under your shoulders. Fix your clothes on the way down because you know we did nothing and they moved. <laughs> Spread your fingertips nice and wide. Curl your toes under this time. Really press in your hands, lifting up and away from your shoulders and pull your core into center. Inhale, nice flat back, look forward. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, drop your belly, send your hips to the sky, look forward, loop your shoulders back and down your spine. And as we exhale, roll your back towards the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. Exhale, round, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going, two more. Last one. Great job. Come into your neutral tabletop position here. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, extend your right fingertips forward. Really stretch through all of your fingers here. And as you exhale, slow and controlled, lift that left leg, point your toes. And I don't want you to dip in your low back. Keep it nice and straight, engage your core. Inhale. Exhale, slow and controlled. We're gonna take elbow to knee right in the center and get a slight arch in your back as they come together. Slow and controlled, extend. Exhale, connect. Focus on your balance here, inhale. Exhale. Again, we're not rushing through this. When we rush, that's when we start to get that dip in our low back. We lose control of our abs. We might even lose our balance. Keep it going. We'll do one more, bringing it in, sending it out, and then release that hand, release that knee down. We're gonna go onto the opposite side. Make sure you curl the toes of your left leg. Inhale, sweep your left arm forward. Exhale, send your right toes back. Find your balance here, get a nice straight line in your spine, engage your core, press away from that right hand. Inhale. Exhale, slow and controlled, connect. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. In. Out. One more. Great job, go ahead and plant that hand, plant that knee, and we'll come into a traditional tabletop with your feet flat on the floor. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, curl your toes back under, send your hips all the way up to the sky, downward facing dog. Really press firmly into all 10 fingers here. Turn your biceps towards the ceiling. Press your hips towards the sky a little bit more. It's okay if you have a bend in your knees or even if your heels are lifted. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, really lift onto your tippy toes. Exhale, sink your heels down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, sink only your right foot. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, sink that left foot. Don't crush your dog's feet if you're like me. Inhale, lift it. Both of them up. 
exhale, sink them both down. Bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, bring your upper body nice and parallel to the ground. Straighten through those legs as we come into our halfway lift. You can have your hands right on your thighs, your shins, or even down onto the mat. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, bend your knees, release that upper body over your lower body. Tuck your chin into your chest. Forward fold. Just hang out here for a moment. Notice what's going on in your body. And just breathe. And inhale, glide your hands all the way back up, coming into that halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend your knees. We're going to draw a big circle with our hands as we slow and controlled. Stand all the way up. Arms extend overhead. Slight back bend at the top. Palms together. And bring them right to your heart. We'll take a breath in and out. Release your shoulders down your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Big circle. Draw those arms up. Exhale, release, forward fold. Plant those palms. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting into a plank. <laughs> Bringing your shoulders right on over your wrists here. You can always drop down and take a modified. Make sure you have a nice neutral spine here. Take a big inhale. Turn your fingertips away from you just slightly towards the edge of the mat. And as you exhale, keep your elbows into your side. Lower that belly all the way down. Inhale, press into your hands, uncurl your feet, come into our upward dog, lifting that entire upper body away from the floor. Engage your glutes, keep that low back nice and stable. And as we exhale, send your hips to your heels, coming into our child's pose. You can keep your knees right under your center here, or you can open them as wide as your mat, which Finn is not really sharing with me right now. Bring your forehead all the way down, arms extended overhead, or you can pull them back towards your shoulders. Find a version that's comfortable for you. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more breath just like that. In. Out. Awesome. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. And then in your next inhale, come all the way up to our tabletop position. Knees under your chest. I mean hips. Wrists under your shoulders. Curl your toes under. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Send your hips all the way up. Downward facing dog. Take a breath here. In. Out. Bend your knees. Look forward. And only step that right foot forward. You can release that back knee if you'd like or keep it lifted for a little more of a challenge. Come up onto your fingertips and send your chest forward, lengthening through your spine, really getting a nice straight line from the top of your head all the way down to your heel. Take a big inhale and exhale. And whatever version you're in, with that next inhale, pull your legs towards the center line and lift your upper body away from the floor, arms up and overhead. Focus on that breath. If it's too uncomfortable with a stance, you can always pull that back leg in just slightly. Inhaling in. Exhale, bring your palms together. I want you to send your chest forward, and then we're going to twist to the right. Connect that left elbow to the outside edge of your right knee. Focus on your breath here. Press hand into hand, and feel your torso twisting as you try to get your chest to face that wall you're looking at. Inhaling in. If you've got your leg lifted, really try to lift that knee away from the floor. If you've got your leg down on the ground, really lift through that chest a little bit more. 
Inhaling in and out. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and release your hands down to the floor. Step your foot back and move through your vinyasa. And sending it back into your child's pose. Again, you can have your knees wide or keep them right into center. Find the version that's comfortable to you here. Forehead all the way down. Inhaling in and out. Focus on that breath. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And just begin to notice your surroundings. The sounds, the smells, the temperature. Just really pulling your attention into this present moment. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. Next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. Focusing on your breath here, take a big inhale and exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, and you're only going to step that left foot forward this time. Go ahead and frame that foot with your hands. And again, you can keep that back knee lifted or lower it down to the ground. Find the version that suits you and then send your chest forward, lengthening through your spine. Pull both legs in towards the center line and use your next inhale. Lift all the way up in your upper body, arms up and overhead. Focus on your breath. Inhale and exhale. Bring your palms together, release your chest forward and then twist to the left this time, connecting that elbow to your knee, pressing your hands firmly into one another, getting that nice straight line here, and then really turning your chest towards the wall in front of you. Again, you can lower down on that back leg, standing your weight forward, taking the pressure out of your knee. Or if you're up here, you really try to lift that back leg away from the mat. Focus on that breath here. In, out, find something on the floor to hold your gaze. Two more big breaths in and out. Last one. Woo. And if you fall, you get right back up. <laughs> That's why we look at something. And then when you're ready, go ahead and plant your palms down. Step your foot back and move through your vinyasa. And send it back in your child's pose. And again, you can choose if you'd like your knees together or spread them wide. We're gonna stay here for two breaths. Inhaling in and out. Last one, in and out. Awesome, come all the way up, downward facing dog. Take a breath here, in, out. Bend your knees, look forward, step only your right leg forward this time. Lifting in that chest, finding your balance, pulling your legs in towards the center line. Inhale, lift it all the way up, arms up and overhead. It's okay if you want to straighten through that front leg, but I encourage you to try to find a little bend here. Take a big inhale, and as we exhale, pull your elbows down towards the side and towards that back wall just slightly. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, keep your belly button pulled in. Try not to smack your aloe plant. 
and just really focus on adding that resistance as you pull down, imagining it there, really feeling your muscles work for you. One more time, inhale up, exhale, lower, hold it here. I want you to pulse your hands towards the back wall. Five, four, three, two, one. And then go ahead and cartwheel your hands forward. Step it back, move through your vinyasa. Send it back, child's pose. We'll be here for three breaths this time. Big inhale. And exhale. One more in. And out. Awesome job. Find your flow all the way up. Downward facing dog. Try not to step on your dog while you're at it. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step only your left leg forward this time. Shifting your body weight forward, sending your chest forward, straightening through that back. Inhale, pull those legs together, lift that upper body all the way right from the floor. Arms up and overhead. Focus on your breath here. In and out. Notice my thumbs are rotated towards that back wall and slightly outward. Inhale, exhale, use your resistance, pull your elbows down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. In. Out. Last one. Hold it here. Pulse your arms towards the back wall. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring those hands forward. Plant your palms. Step it back. Move through your final vinyasa. And this time, keep your knees into the center, sending your weight back towards your heels here. So you can really begin to open up through that low back. Release your forehead down. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Glide your hands back towards your feet, flipping your palms towards the ceiling here. And just really allow your shoulders to roll forward. Close your eyes. And if you're feeling a tightness in your breath, start to visualize the back side of your body expanding with your lungs. Inhale. Exhale. And again, just bring your awareness to everything surrounding you. The sound. The smell the feel. You can just begin to feel the weight of your head falling forward into the mat. The breath as it comes in and out of your nose. Maybe even the heat your body has gained from the movements. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. And with that next inhale, glide your hands up underneath of your shoulder and press yourself away from the floor. Really lengthening through your spine here, sitting up nice and tall. Pulling your chin towards the back wall. You can take your right hand onto your chin and just kind of glide it back in space. Pull your belly button in. Loop your shoulders around your back. 
Go ahead and close your eyes. We'll take a couple breaths here. In, out. One more. Really visualize your breath coming from all sides of your body. In and out. Awesome. Open your eyes. Send your body weight forward. Curl your toes under and slow and controlled. Send your weight back into your heels, feeling a nice deep stretch to the bottom of your foot. If it's too much pressure, just lift up and out of your hips just slightly. Focus on that breath and looping your shoulders around your body here. Sitting up nice and tall, belly button in, chin back. Inhale. Exhale. And this pose can cause a little more pressure because we use our feet all the time, right? So if any of you have ever dealt with any type of a plantar fasciitis, it's, this is a pose that's going to help you because we're stretching the entire plantar fascia at the bottom of our foot into our calves, moving around the ankle and all the way up in towards your knees, right? So this stable pose that feels a little uncomfortable is doing so much work for your body. One more breath here in. And as we exhale, go ahead and send your weight forward. Turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. <laughs> go ahead and bring the bottoms of your feet down onto the mat. Goodness, you guys, I'm so sorry for my really terrible jokes. Sorry, not sorry, really. <laughs> Bring your arms out in front of you. Open your palms all the way up to the ceiling. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall, nice length through your spine. Take a big inhale. Exhale, sink it back just an inch. Lift your arms up until you can feel your abs engaged. Maybe they're straight out from your shoulders. Try to go even higher. Get your biceps parallel to your ears. Hold it there. In, out. Pull your belly button in your spine. Focus on that breath. One more big inhale. Exhale. Shift it forward. Inhale. Sink it back. Find your arms into that position where you can really feel your core working for you. Bring your palms together and twist to the right. Inhale back. Exhale. Twist to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. In. Out. Keep it going. Keep your core engaged here. Feet planted onto the mat. Nice and straight line through your spine. Come back to center, hold it there. You can release your arms as wide as your shoulders and then bring it forward. Really bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around. Stretch nice and tall through your spine. And as you exhale, really just relax your forehead into your knees. Creating a nice little cocoon here. Still feeling a stretch through your shoulders, down your spine. And just take this moment. Inhale, roll all the way back up. Plant your feet one more time. Open your arms out in front of you. Take a big inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, sink it back. Lift those arms even higher. Feel your core engaged. Exhale, sink it back a little more, holding your core, keep a nice straight line in your spine. One more, inhale. Exhale, sink it back, hold it there. Three, two, one, and release. Slow and controlled, all the way down. Bring your arms overhead, get a nice big stretch here. And then as you exhale, release your hands down to your side, pull your knees into your chest, give them a little tug. Hold them here in the center for just one breath. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead and release that left leg and then your right leg. Bring your arms down to your side. Let your feet fall open as wide as the mat. Or around your dog. Close your eyes. And just focus on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale, feel your body getting heavier into the floor. You notice your body has probably cooled down from just moments ago and we were all warmed right up.
And if you notice your mind starts to wander as you lay here, focusing on being present and focusing on that breath, just pull your attention to your breath by counting. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four. Keep that going until you get to 10 and then start again. With your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, bat your eyelashes open and closed, and then when you're ready, roll onto your side facing knee, use your arm as a pillow, and take a breath there, inhaling in, and out, press yourself away from the floor, coming all the way back up into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale and exhale. Bring your hands all together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, bow forward. See you in our practice this morning. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I hope that you are as relaxed as Finn is over here and uh, you learn something new. If you try out any part of my morning routine, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, I've been doing this for as long as I can remember, but I revamped it during COVID and I just love every moment about it. So I hope that you try it and let me know and I hope it is life-changing for you as it has been for me. And I'll see you guys again soon. So stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you later.